This is all good content already. Yeah, you're welcome. It's okay. incredible. Have yeah. fun, you guys. I'll be back in 15, 20 minutes for okay. you. Behave. That's okay. Long is it? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right. Edit that in post. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Malford again with another behind the scenes video. Uh, today I'm here again with Luke. Hey. And this time we're going to talk about the blight. So Luke, tell me a bit about the blight. Um, so essentially it is a giant swarming tornado of like destructive energy. Yeah. That can sweep into the world and destroy things. Sounds fun. Mm. Yeah. So basically just it, it Demolishes entities that are in its path. Yeah, it can it can appear and basically like just clears out uh, and anything that it kind of comes into contact with really. Mm. Um, so if you do get caught in one, if you see one forming in the distance, stay away and get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Yeah. So why, why why have we made this blight? Is it just like something there's like a risk in the world, or is there a, a drip, no? A I mean, it's one of those things that it's kind of like uh, there's certain things in, in games that you like you need mm. and usually. You can just sort of just do them. Like, well, we're gonna respawn some animals, and we're gonna blah blah blah. But we kind of like to kind of like build up the world with these things and yeah. add kind of like cool spectacles with them, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a necessary evil, so let's kind of make it cool. Yeah. Uh, we did the same thing with the understorms. So when we uh, want to like regenerate loot or resources, we we kind of try and build it into the lore. Yeah. So you know, the storms hit the islands, it energizes all the atlas inside the islands, so that keeps them floating. Right. And that brings up all of the, you know, stuff uh, that's buried there. Stuff that's buried. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so with the blight, um, we obviously the, the players leaving junk everywhere. Anyone mm -hmm. who's played the alpha or, and, and the beta and stuff will know that in the past we've had lots of like you know issues with just junk. Yeah, just pure junk. That's kind just of generally that's just useless. Yeah, you know, old burnt out places, camp, burnt out campfires, yeah. uh, stuff like that. Yeah, just so, like my bad garden. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, you should really sort that out. Yeah, actually. Sure, yeah. <laughs> if only I had but a blight. If only, if only. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. So the 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 blight is there if. There's just too much stuff going on to the point where it affects gameplay. Yeah. We spool up this giant storm mm -hmm. um, and it starts to tear things apart. Okay. So, and obviously that means that, you know, anything that's sort of trapped in there stands the chance of being damaged or destroyed. Uh, you know, is there, yeah. is there, you know, if, if, if I'm in an area where, you know, maybe I'm approaching an island where there's a bunch of treasure chests or whatever on that island that haven't been cleared yet and I'm on a big ship uh, and maybe there's a few of my friends with me, the storm comes up. Am I at risk now of, because I've come close to this island, suddenly all the stuff on my ship getting you, lost? You will be at a risk, right. but we have like quite a comprehensive priority system okay. uh, in the background. Um, so while the blight will a appear around you and, you know, it might, might you know, tug away at a couple of panels or mm. something, it'll predominantly be clearing out um, unused things like the chests and yeah. maybe there's a few trees, basically stuff that's kind of like taxing on the server. So okay. what it'll try and do is clear a thing out if a lot of action starts happening. Right. Um, it, like, so just like, for example, ships that are owned mm -hmm. are like right down the priority list. Yeah. Um, so if you do kind of enter an area and you're in an owned ship and it starts to clear stuff out, you, you basically have an early warning thing of yeah. like, it's not going to target us first, but we sure. should probably get out because if, if, yeah. it, if it destroys everything else and it's still wants to kill stuff, mm -hmm. um, it'll go for you next. Okay. And I guess because of that priority system, it's unlikely that it's going to go straight in and destroy your core or something. Straight yeah, out. yeah, no. And, and, and even within that priority system, yeah. it will it will be destroying um, like redundant parts of your ship, like panels and stuff yeah. like that first. Like the core is probably, a core on own ship is probably like the absolute lowest priority for the yeah. flight. Okay. And I guess off the top of my head, I can think of a few strategies that I might try to, as a player, employ to use the Blight as a weapon against other players. Have we thought yeah. about that sort of stuff? Yeah, I mean, so there is, obviously, um, if players have been in lots and lots of junk ships, maybe, because they're mm. like, oh yeah, we'll build like five ships, right? But they can't own, like, you know, all of them, right? Yeah. If they want to cause enough to start the Blight. Mm. Um, and so any ships that are kind of like unowned yeah. will get taken out first. Right. And then hopefully by that point it's it's kind of settled yeah but i mean it is it is there to deter like mass groupings mm. um at least for now like the, the idea is 
is at the moment, yeah, maybe it's like, you know, X amount of players get together, X amount of ships, and it sure. does start up. But as we continue to optimise and develop and upgrade everything, mm. um, it, the blight will, won't will trigger for, you know, there's more and more people kind yeah. of come together. So we'll be sort of tweaking that as the Exactly. So, so what you see when the blight is introduced is not like the final numbers of players that we're yeah. going to allow to gather up. It's simply a case of... The Blight's kind of agnostic to that. It, it's not going, oh, there's too many players here. It's literally doing it on server stress. If you had mm -hmm. 100 players and like you were all on one ship, mm -hmm. chances are the Blight wouldn't spool up, you know? Yeah. Um, so you'd be fine. It's, mm. it's not based on, Number we don't want this many people. It's purely, it's just watching, um, just trying to keep the gameplay experience as smooth as possible. Yeah, okay. Um, and uh, if a player does see the blight starting to appear, are there any strategies they can use to avoid it? Is it just best to just leave, or is there something else they can? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you can wait it out, mm -hmm. weather the storm, so to speak. If you think like I'll be safe mm -hmm. while it while it while it does its stuff. Um, alternatively, you know, it is very visible. It's easy to skirt around. Yeah. Um, and it does take a while to form up. So if okay. it does start to appear, you do have a good kind of like couple of minutes to like gather your things <laughs> and get out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, hopefully it doesn't surprise anyone and sure. they, they, they feel cheated by it. It has enough uh, warnings in place to, but it, other than that, it's a cool spectacle yeah. thing of. Uh, it does look really cool. Yeah, yeah, of clearing out the world. This is a bit where we cut in footage mm -hmm. of. Um, of the here's, some, the here's some exciting footage, and we're, we're, we're holding that it. We're it's holding it. it. Exciting. Here's, <laughs> here's the blight. Here's the blight for happening. you, folks at home. Wow! 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 It's incredible. Woo. That's a spectacle. So, what ideas have you got to develop the blight in the future as the game progresses? Um, it'll be more a case of just keeping it up to date, making sure it's not unfair in any way. Um, the biggest thing for the future that's coming from the blight is more of the the visual effects. Mm. and the system in place for, for sort of creating it, I guess. Because mm -hmm. um, while currently it's used um, for, for its current purpose, I wanna, I have some ideas to turn its uh, tornado-like terror into um, other kind of yeah. advanced weather systems in okay. the future. Yeah, so we can use some of the work we've done on the Blight to create other I mean, essentially stuff. the Blight is a dynamic storm, mm. which we haven't had before, we've only had uh, like storm walls and stuff, so who knows, future biomes mm. could have more threats uh, inside them mm. than just uh, getting through the barrier. Sounds exciting. Mm. Mm. Cool. A little snippet for you. There you go, there's a little hint of something that's definitely confirmed. <laughs> but if you know, it's just like it's potential, okay? Yeah, it's a thing we can do. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, we're yeah. hoping to anyway. Cool, yeah. alright. Thank you for sitting down and having a chat with me. Oh, yeah, it's no been worries. Illuminating as usual. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and like it. And smash that bell icon if you like it when I hit the table and make the camera shake like that. Oh no. Oh no. Um, like us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, yep. Subscribe to us on an RSS feed. Is that still a thing? I don't know. Oh. I, di I, I did Bebo last week. <laughs> right, yeah. That's <laughs> Was still it a last thing. week? I've done Bebo at some still point, I'm thing. sure. You get, is yeah. it back now? Oh, it must be. They did a video about it being back. But the kids remember. will tell us. Yeah, Kids? Is kids Bebo back? Home. Yeah. Tell us. <laughs> 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 when, All right. when can I activate my Bebo account? Come That's on. That's it. I'm, I'm literally waiting on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. All right. Thanks very much. No worries. Bye. Bye. I love you.